Now, it's one thing to see dirt and debris in your hot tub, but it's a whole other issue when it comes to finding hot tub scum. The key is to know what causes it so you can remove it and keep it from happening again. Check it out. First, what causes hot tub scum? Some of what goes into your hot tub water gets filtered out, but some contaminants aren't processed by your filter, and that's when they form a layer of scum that floats on the surface or forms a nasty ring around your hot tub shell. The most common causes of hot tub scum? Well, that's hair and dead skin cells, personal care products like deodorant, shampoo, and lotion, metals from your water source, poor water chemistry like high pH, or a dirty, worn-out filter. But... It's the color of the hot tub scum that will tell you what caused it and how to get rid of it. First is brown scum. If the water's pH level is too high, it can cause minerals like iron to react with the chlorine. This will create a nasty brown scum. Next is green scum. If you see green scum in your hot tub, you probably have a high copper level in the water. Magnesium will also cause this reaction. Finally, there's blue-green scum, which is the worst of all scums. It's caused by a combination of metals, bodily residue, personal care products, and a dirty, worn-out filter. Okay, now that you know where it comes from, how do you prevent hot tub scum? Well, to prevent brown scum, keep your water balanced and your pH levels from getting too high. If the pH level gets higher than 7.6, use a pH decreaser. To prevent green scum, Use a hose filter when filling your hot tub to keep metals out of the water. You might also want to keep a metal sequestrant on hand. This will clump up the metals together so they can be grabbed by the filter. And since blue-green scum is a bit more complicated, you'll need to follow a few steps to prevent it. Step number one is to test the water regularly. You can do this with test strips or a liquid test kit. These will test for pH, but you may need to find special test strips for metals. Test the water at least weekly, but more often if you're having a hot tub scum problem or your water has high mineral content or you use your spa very often. Step number two, shower before using your hot tub. Rinsing off before you get into your hot tub helps to keep contaminants out of the water, but some things like lotions, perfumes, makeup, and deodorant only come off with a full shower and a good scrub. Step number three, shock your spa regularly. Shock your hot tub about every two weeks, but if you're having trouble with hot tub scum, try shocking once a week. And you'll also want to shock your hot tub once a week if your hot tub is getting heavy use. Step number four, clean your hot tub regularly. After every soak, wipe down the headrest and any portion of the spa that's not in the water with a soft cloth or a towel. You'll also want to use a hot tub cleaner and a soft sponge on those areas at least once a week. Step number five is clean the filter regularly. Maintaining your filter will help keep the scum away, so rinse your hot tub filter often with warm water or a garden hose with a spray nozzle. And spray your filter once a week with a hot tub filter cleaner. You'll also want to soak your filter in a chemical cleaner every time you drain and refill your hot tub and rinse it thoroughly afterwards. Real quick, before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your hot tub questions, go check out our hot tub handbook and video course. You'll get in-depth video lessons plus a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything that you need to know about hot tub maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your hot tub clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of hot tub. The best part is we always keep it up to date so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. That's swimuniversity.com slash spa and use the promo code video. Finally, here's how to remove hot tub scum if it's already a problem in your spa. Step number one is you want to skim the water's surface. Use a fine mesh skimmer to scoop up any hot tub scum on the surface of the water. And if there's a lot, rinse the skimmer between passes. Step number two is use an oil absorbing sponge. These are floating sponges made specifically for absorbing oil and scum, and they even float around while you're in the hot tub. Step number three is to clean your hot tub. If your spa water is balanced and you still see a ring of hot tub scum at the water line, all you need to do is clean the shell at the water line. Turn off the hot tub before you start, then remove some of the water with a bucket to drop the hot tub water level below the scum line. 
Then use a hot tub cleaner or a soft cloth or sponge and gently scrub away the scum line. Then add that water back into your hot tub. Step number four, clean or replace the filter. And if you don't clean your filter when you clean everything else, that scum's gonna come right back. So soak your filter in a chemical cleaner, and if that doesn't get the job done, then just replace it. Filters are fairly inexpensive, and it's better to start over with a fresh one. Lastly, if you've done everything from skimming the water to replacing the filter, and the hot tub scum still comes back, you'll need to drain and clean your hot tub. Now be sure to check out our other video on how to drain, clean, and refill your spa. That's it. That's how to prevent and get rid of hot tub scum. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know and to help out your fellow hot tub owners. Hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn more about hot tub maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And check out the hot tub handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash spa. Don't forget to enter that promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.